Hey guys, Lindsay here. And Marissa. Today is Vita Day 4. We <laughs> missed the first four, three. We were on vacation though. Not just vacation, but like we were driving from South Carolina. Yeah. And we just got back. So, um, wanted to jump into Vita and we thought we'd do the first four all now. Intros. We're Lindsay and Marissa. We live in Minneapolis. Two dogs, one cat. We're kind of hippies. We are really into gardening. We like to hike and camp. We have a conversion van but we don't drive it except for long trips or camping trips. So I think that's it. Cool. Next. Next. How did you get involved? We did Vita last year. We mm -hmm. started last year which was a really crazy month because August um, we were getting married because all the gay people could get married as of August 1st in, in, in Minnesota. Minnesota, yeah. So it was kind of interesting because we documented our whole, like... Yeah, getting ready. Yeah. Everyone's Minnesota. here and then afterwards being exhausted. So yeah. that was kind of fun. Um, and then we did Vita in... What? April. Uh, April. Um, just kind of... But I found April to be less fun. Well, also, her grandma passed away. Oh, yeah. That was less fun. Yeah, so April was less fun, but we like doing August. Yep. Next. Next. If you could time travel, where would you go and why? Mm -hmm. uh, we gave a minute of thought to this. And I would like to go to any time where I can witness, like, people's reactions to things. So I was thinking, like, the bombing of Pearl Harbor or like the assassination of like JFK or Robert Kennedy or Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, I mean any of those. I think in that time period I'm fascinated with and I'm fascinated with sort of what was going on and how quickly it was happening and how violent things and like um, how violent things were and how divided things were and that just is really interesting to yeah. me so well plus there wasn't the 24-hour news cycle so you right kinda... so witnessing something just without that right or like facebook or we Twitter were like constantly or... connected but you find out these things and then you have to wait for news yeah without this like globalized sort of yeah insta news so when she said that the thing that popped into my head was the moon landing i would have liked to see the Moon land. I know I can go back and watch clips, but it would have been cool to, to be, be like the with, atmosphere. And, right. Like, yeah. Because a lot of people say, and I guess for our generation, it's 9-11 mm -hmm. where you're like, I remember where I was when yep. that happened. Like the moon landing was one of those things that was just really, well, it, was, it was really amazing. It was awesome. Like, it was, it's just, that was really cool and like very, like you can do anything. Yeah. Very motivating. So Vita day four question. Reading preferences. I don't read a lot, honestly. Um, if I do read, I read mostly nonfiction. The only fiction I read is Michael Crichton. I, I really just like his books. Mm -hmm. I would also say I fall into the nonfiction. I read a lot of like business books and entrepreneurial type books and like startup books. But I also read random other books. Like I usually gravitate towards a sci-fi fantasy genre. Well, let's point out that you Wait. don't read, she listens. Oh, I listen. That's true. <laughs> so, like, she listens to books on... Books on tape. Or books MP3 on CD, player. I guess, now. I usually like a strong female lead character, like Honor Harrington series. I like books, like, that had television shows, and then their television shows <laughs> got cut short, and then they had these books that come out. It's just because she watches so much TV that she wants to know what happens. I do. Well, there are good shows that get cut short. Like the 4400. It was on USA. It was a long time ago. It's an old <laughs> sci-fi thing. But um, it ended, and you really didn't... It ended at a very pivotal time. Like, there was going to be this, like, clashing between, like, people with powers and people without powers. And it just ended. It just went away. And so, But they came out with two novels. And so I'll read those. Right. That was Vita Day 1234, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Bye. Look at our vegetables. This is what happens when we leave. These are ground cherries, if you don't know. These are delicious, just sweet cherries, cherries. But they, we eat them, so the pile gets smaller.
These are yellow pear cherries, or yellow cherry. Wow. These are yellow okay. pear tomatoes, but we got them in Asheville, so they didn't grow. Cucumbers. Tomatoes. Oh, and that's a zucchini, but zucchini's old news. It's been growing for a long time. Okay. Blueberries. Blueberries. That I'm not, no, not me. That. Can you see the blueberries? We picked an ass ton of blueberries because we were in, where were we? South Carolina. We were in South Carolina and they grow there and we can pick them it was like pick for your, very cheap. It's like go pick, it's like apple picking up here, but you can go pick blueberries down there. And it was really good. And here are our it's thrilling. South, peaches. <gasps> South Carolina peaches. The best.